Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy. Cause you know we coming straight at you. Yo, it's your boy LL Cool G, my nigga. Dot my Bulloom Gang 93 OG in this bitch, my nigga. Shout out to my motherfucking boy, Mr. Circle City, man. Pinpoint visuals in this bitch, nigga. LL! Hey, hey, hey. I'm only I see the world from how I came in it I got a heart and a soul full of pain in it I need to rest but I don't wanna sleep I need a meal but I don't wanna eat Too many demons laying at my feet So much to say but I don't wanna speak PPV, live with this motherfucker with my dog LL Coogee, nigga What's happening, my boy? Man, what's going on, man? Q Street Coogee, niggas know 93OG.Live Hoodlum gang shit, niggas know what it is man. RP my nigga Q, RP my nigga Bird, Wayne, all that shit Niggas know what's happening out the gate, hey nigga, do you consider yourself before we get straight into it, my nigga? Do you consider yourself one of the hardest working Midwest battle rappers that we got right now? I am the hardest working, not one of them. Mm. I am the hardest working Midwest battle rapper. When it comes to like to consider like like the last week, I didn't did at least four to five videos. You feel me? Yeah, like, I didn't do four or five video shoots. You know what I'm saying? Like we just dropped a new project, the Cold March Seven project. We got. Buku big names coming up, you know what I'm saying? We got an overseas battle out the country in London mm. on Premier Battle League. You know, I got Chef Treads coming up, Doc coming up, mm -hmm. JC, JC coming up, the battle on Black Ice Cartel that y'all see around coming up. So, uh, you know, and then after that, so I got more battles to be announced on that. That's not even out yet. So, yeah. So, I, I am the hardest working battle rapper and slash musician in the Midwest currently, yeah. My dog, you know what I'm saying? How many battles do you do a motherfucking year? The battles I do an average of over like probably like twelve to thirteen. That's fire. And how many projects you drop a year? Uh, all together or just in general? Just just in general, brother. Oh, uh, in general, uh, in general, all the projects I got, I got over like 25, 26 projects, and over just like over the like 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 two thousand twenty one where I had dropped like ten tapes in one year, like ten EPs, ten tapes, albums. Then, like I said, this year I've dropped two. I've dropped the King Cobra, then I dropped the Cold March 7. Then I got another project with my cousin Hillel coming out of the 6 5. I got a collab project with him. I got a collab project coming out with Mecha Malo on the beats and shit. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got another uh, project coming out. My King Kooji 7 project will be out too. So before the year, I have three more projects out. And uh, executive produced by Mecha Malo, you know what I'm saying? AR by Mecha Malo. All that shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's some exclusive I just gave you. I ain't even, he ain't even, we ain't even pronounced that first. It's the first time I ever spoke about it. For all that's going to be public. Fire. Fire. It's PPV shit. Got to get the exclusive. That's love right there. You know what I'm saying? So last question on this subject. You know what I'm saying? What's the motivation that, that makes you want to just keep dropping this music on niggas and keep popping niggas in these heads with these battles? It's, 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 it's the love you have for it. You feel me? Like, the hip hop, cause you know I'm old enough. I'm old enough for like you know what I'm saying MTV raps, the box, all that shit. See this world, one hundred six apart. You know what I'm saying? I was still like, I was still, you know what I'm saying? And I grew up in the area where you still had to go to the store and get the CD, not download it on Apple. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. When no Apple Music win, you know what I'm saying? I was like, when I like the first album I ever bought, like literally with my own money, was like it's crazy. It was units in the city that was like shorty low album, first album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First album, bought, like with my own money and shit. So like yeah, in the story at Best Buy, so it's like it, you gotta have a love for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been watching battle rap and shit since kid and play the house party. You feel me? Get out the giddy, my boy. Out the giddy, my boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm always proud of you. You know what I'm saying? Because you do be fucking boys up. And I agree with you. You are the most consistent. You know what I'm saying? Hardest working motherfucker that we got. You know what I'm saying? In battle rap, Midwest, however you want to call it. Because I don't see nobody working as hard as you on both sides of the spectrum. You understand? Right, right. Right, right. Side, side of the spectrum and shit. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's talk, nigga. Black Ice, nigga. How the fuck you get on Black Ice, man? Have you ever been on Black Ice? Yeah, 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 yeah. I battled on Black Ice in 2016. I battled a Kiria. But that wasn't my original, uh, AK, that wasn't with my original opponent, though. I was battle opponent, battle one of the W-Dub guys, and he didn't that, and then I ended up showing up. And AK was, like, wanted to be on cartoon, you know, because that's his people. And this seized the opportunity, and we just did, like, a one-off that day and shit. And everybody that was there that know what happened and shit, you know what I'm saying, so. Okay, okay, so you didn't have no, uh, uh, so it was just a, 
boom, nigga, I got some shit. I'll battle you right now type shit. Yeah, yeah, that's how I ended up having because my, my opponent ended up not showing up. So I ended up just battling AK on the spot and shit. And then, you know, I whooped his ass. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> out the gate. Out the yeah. gate. So let's fast forward. You know what I'm saying? It's 2023. You know what I'm saying? You got this nigga Profilini, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about this nigga Prof, cuz? Uh, Profilini's consistent. He, he brings it every battle. You know what I'm saying? And like I was, I was just on the same Survivor Series card as him when he battled Scotty Good and I battled Rick Morrell. So yeah, I know Profilini. And that's a uh, bank kid and got NWS guy. Shit, so, yeah. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been seeing a lot of comparisons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just hearing a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So let me throw the shit at you that I've been hearing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, comparison energy wise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do y'all feel like y'all both energetic? Uh, Which I delivery? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all both share that. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been seeing motherfuckers saying that, man, that it don't matter how many motherfuckers Coogee to battle this nigga, Coogee to battle that, but I see Prof still whooping his ass. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers is, you know what I mean? Niggas love that, that felony rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel when motherfuckers, uh, like, I don't want to say, like, knock your resume, but... Feel like, uh, uh, not saying that, uh, uh, Profilini ain't battled no niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't trying to disrespect, bro. Shout out to that nigga Profilini. But this is what niggas is saying. Like, that you really can't fuck with Profilini, bro. I've actually seen that. Um, I mean, anybody saying that must be on the same shit Pookie was smoking on New Jack City. God damn. Like, how can you go against a nigga, right? That's, that's seen them all. Like, they've seen them all. Like, I've seen them all. Like, the best girls. A lot of the a lot of great niggas, either they performers, star power, pin niggas, or, you know what I'm saying, that's consistent just like me. I've seen them all. Where win, lose, or draw, I've seen them all. In every, in every way, shape, or form. On every stage. On Smack, on URL. I mean, on Smack, on RBE, on King of the Dot, on in, in Indiana, and in, uh, Atlanta, and New York, and... And like I said, in, 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 in fucking Minnesota, L.A., Arizona, fucking Denver, all the like I can name every United States I've battled there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So in everywhere that's faced every damn near every top tier nigga that that that's co-signed by the niggas like Nuke and Rex and A Verb and all these other niggas y'all see, like. Like in what fashion? And then like I said, I already left blood on that flow already. Mm -hmm. So what makes it's not about Profilini. This is about me. You know how they, they they come to see Floyd lose, bro. Mm. They don't come to see. So, talk your shit, nigga. Buy, buy, buy your ticket to come see me lose. And I, I, I'm very really sorry. I mean, you got to go send that money to that nigga that cash out that you betted that shit on. You feel me? Because <laughs> you, you playing stupid ass games, man. Like, like, the, like to sit up here and like and, and be like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that's seen everybody. And sit up here and talking about and, and only niggas saying that because they ain't got the resume like me. Because mm. I bet it's a battle rapper that said that. It couldn't have hey, been. Hey, bro, no, no my mom it was, bro, on Vice Lord. It's a battle rapper that said it was a battle rapper that said that. So my point is that he's high, it's fuck. <laughs> and you might get fucked when he comes off his fucking shoes. Because at the end of the day, that's tough coming from a person that doesn't that obviously doesn't have the same Fuck, cause I can say fuck the resume. The same work, the same workload I got. You feel me? Yeah. At yeah. the end of the fucking day, man, Sprite and Sierra Miss might taste the same, but they don't look the same. Out the gate, so let let's go from there. You know what I'm saying? Cause um, what do you think that uh uh, what do you think that Profilini's good at? He's good at knowing his material, prep. He's good at. Like I said, performance, he's good at having aggression when he battle and things of that nature and shit or whatever. He's good at that. Yeah, he's good at that. He's very consistent. He's good at that. That's great. So you don't feel like he does anything better than LF? Yeah. I mean, do you think Anakin Skywalker does anything better than Yoda? Yeah. You asking me, nigga? You interviewing PPV? We have to go back to questions. Like, like I, don't, I don't think Obi-Wan Kenobi is better than Yoda at all. Okay, so I see the. I mean, I mean, Go ahead, brother. Just because uh, Yoda leaned back and he chilling with the hoodie on, nigga, he's small and shit, ain't nothing gonna happen. You feel me? Yeah. 
until the force come out that nigga, you feel me? Out the giddy. You feel me? So at the end of the day, man, I, I see he's strong in the force, my nigga, like, but I see niggas that forgot, because guess what? They forget when all they see is flyers when you battling the biggest stuff. They see flyers of you and posters of you all overseas, booked in London and all this other place. So they, they forget that you come from that backyard, too, you feel me? They forget that you was back there like Kimbo, you feel me? Yeah. So what they, what they say on that um, boxing game? Y'all must have forgot. You know, like, like, yeah, yeah. Roy Jones, y'all must have forgot. Like, y'all must have forgot, bro. And that's all it is, man. You know, like I said, man, when niggas get to see the show live in person, the show be over in London, the show be all out of town all the time. So you don't get to see the show all the time. You know, when the show up and close, you know, niggas get excited about seeing the show. So, you know, they, they want to say things to make their, like, like, me and Profilini shouldn't be the most anticipated battle on a car, but it is. Yeah, it is, bro. <laughs> it is. You ain't I'm not arguing with another bunch of people. If niggas study talking about me and Profilini, so who the, who the show is? Mm. Who the show is? Mm. If the biggest person that has 100,000 views is Arsenal on the card, why the most talked about battle on this card is Profilini and LL Coogee? Make it make sense to me. Nah, I can dig, bro. Y'all got three of them things? <laughs> They lining up, getting they, they, they candy, they popcorn, rolling they blunts up. They coming to see LL Cool G and Profilini. Because them niggas ain't going to bet some. Like my nigga Dre said, if niggas want to bet a band, they can bet a band. I, dog, I see niggas talking about he going to three y'all. Bro, get the fuck out. Bro, you ain't seen niggas that's top names three on me, bro. But think about me, my nigga. I'm a nigga that battle outside of my comfort zone. I ain't a backyard boogie nigga. You feel me? Yeah. Half of my resume is out of out of side of the wall. Real talk. I can't speak for other niggas. You feel me? So how does it feel to have a home game though with this nigga prop? Because he, he black ice, ain't he? He cartel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that's still like I ain't gonna save him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so it's like. But how you feel to have, have one of them things though? How many home games have you had your whole career? Uh, I got 68 battles out. So it's like, I'd probably say like a good 30, probably 31, 31 of my gown, man. The rest of them is out of town. And then, and then, and then I'm only counting battles that came out because I had URL battles that didn't come out. Yeah. And other battles, it's off like foot fuck or footage or my pony choked or whatever. So I got more out of town battles than in town battles. So I got 68 battles now. So, and I'm only 30 years old. So I would, I would be way over. Probably be way, way over a hundred in the uh, Dre Dennis DNA, you know, the source, them type of thing. By the by, the time I'm about 32, 33 years old or thirty four, you know. So, like I said, man, like uh, you know, I, be all they love me, like they love they they love to hate me, man. They love to hate me, man, because you know, like I said, people don't know how to post me because I, I don't be fucking with niggas. You feel me? So, like I said, man, you know, instead of like you know, what I'm saying it, it, it'd be a lot of like I said, like undercover hate going on because. of I am uh, every time you turn around, I'm on a flyer and I'm battling a name. And if you see me battle with uh, Glass Joe and shit, it's because they paid my ticket. You yeah, out the me? gate, out the gate. If I'm not battling you, is it because nobody paid me the ticket? You feel me? Mm -hmm. So then you got my. Hey, every time they book me out of Indiana, I pulled up, didn't I? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Hey, hey, niggas got the throw on them at the first event when I battle RP Nice. The right. first time I battle Nice. Niggas got the boxing. Yep. I ain't get, I ain't get, I ain't get shook. I, I came out there with me and my nigga welfare pope, no polite in this girl. And we was, I was like, shit, what the fuck we finna do this battle with? Like, we, we went, went to the, the bus station. We went to the bus station. We got right, and we got, and we got busy out there. I'm still shaking shit. This is my first battle in Indiana, nigga. So at the end of the day, every time I stepped out of there, I was shaking shit. Every time I battle, hey, I, bro, I, I'm, bro, I get, I'm, bro, I go to the jungle and come out with a chinchilla every time, bro. Let's talk your shit, my boy. So it's like, man, bro, this, not, this battle not even about Profilini. But like I said, Profilini, no, we cool. I fuck with Profilini. Profilini, let it stay there every time I really fuck with Coogee. Like, this ain't no personal shit or no shit like that. But they coming to see the show, my nigga. <laughs> they coming to see the fucking show, my nigga. Because right now, if something happened and we ain't battling no more, nigga, ticket sales go down. Like, what? What's going on? Ticket sales go down, my nigga. Like, real shit. They coming to see the show, bro. Because me and Profilini should not be the most anticipated battle on his card, bro. It shouldn't be. Okay. It's way 
It's a bigger name, way bigger name than all of us on this card. Uh-huh. You ain't lying. You ain't... But, but that tells you, because at the end of the day, man, let's be wanted, man. If it, it would have been Profilini versus fucking anybody else, bro, they wouldn't be talking about this shit like that, bro. And, ain't, and that's not even about Profilini. It's based off, it's, if matchups make fights, my nigga. And ain't no LL Cool G gonna come in there, like I said, but we're gonna get in that pit cage and we're gonna go again. We're gonna go at it. And when I see blood in the water, nigga, I come up like Jaws, nigga, every time. Mm. Oh, that. Are you bleeding? When I get first get my, I get them haymakers off and I see, I see Kool Aid. Are oh, you bleeding? Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? Remember, remember in Mortal Kombat Annihilation when Luke Kano fight at the end and then he told, he, and then Sha- Sha- Shao Kahn started bleeding. He's like, Father, I'm bleeding. Yeah. Like, nigga, you human. He, you human, he, he, nigga. He forgot, nigga. You forgot. So I think, that's why I say, I think niggas forgot that, like I said, it's blood on my fist and blood in my eyes, nigga. And I can, like, nigga, like, stop playing with me, bro. Like, on some real shit. Every time I, every time a bar hit, I'm looking at niggas. What it's looking like? Like, what it's looking like, nigga? Y'all just forgot. Y'all just forgot. See, damn, think about it, man. Niggas forget when you in the trenches and when you ever beat niggas up in the backyard. And when you get, in, get, get, on, get on Showtime and you in the ring and... All them niggas don't say commentating and they do it. That's ready to rumble. They forget that you was in the backyard like Kimbo. You feel me? Yes, sir. They forget about that. I, I think about that's what niggas they forgot about, bro. <laughs> so, goddamn it. Uh, uh, last question, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is this battle going to do more for Profilini or for LL Cool G? Uh, yeah. It, yes, yes, it gives. It, it 100% does more for Profilini than LL Cool G. Because, like I told you, the battles I have coming up, shit, I have JC coming up, I have Doc coming up, I have Chef Trans coming up, I got a battle in London coming up. Yeah, yeah, it's the he just joined Cartel. So, yes, it's, I'm, an, I'm the name to be him. When they hit me up, it was Cool G. How much you want to fuck with, no, take Profilini? I'm the name. Mm. Because, and look at it. Profilini doesn't have a better resume than me. He doesn't have more battles than me. He hasn't been on, like, like he hasn't, like, I've been, like I said, he only thing he has in common with me, he's been on Smack before. He's been on RBE before. Besides that, like, but like I told you, it's the difference is, like, when I battled on RBE, I had the best battle of the night on a car full of legends. On Mass and Serious, everybody's seen that. You had to battle with the night over a car, everybody with legends on that car. That's the difference between a lot of niggas with me. I was the first nigga from Milwaukee to be on that RBE. I made the lane for that. I made the lane for that shit. You know, when it comes to that new Midwest generation, my nigga, I'm, all, I'm, I'm top five of my generation of that. I'm putting on and doing all that, having an impact. Bro, I was in XXL Magazine off my own craft, bro. Talk, I'm, nigga. I'm, 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 booked over, I'm booked overseas in London. We, that's a whole different world, bro. It's probably still nighttime over there. You feel me? Hell yeah. Like, that is and, a whole new world. A whole new world. Yeah, nigga, you ain't lying. Yeah, so so with that being said, bro, it's like, yeah, yeah, it does sport the time because, like I said, they're, they're building him up. You feel me? They're building him up. So if they didn't think I was worth anything, they wouldn't have hit me up uh, about battling him. You feel me? That's truth. That's, yeah. tr- that's truth right there. You know what I'm saying? So what's the date on that thing? October 22nd, man. I'll be battling JC in a one-rounder battle. This battle's three rounds, too. My battle with Chef Trez is three rounds, also. My battle with Doc, one round. And my battle in London is three rounds. So I got a couple three-round battles, three-rounder battles coming up. And I got I battled JC a day before I battled Prophet Lady. Actually, yo, uh, uh, anybody can die battle lead. Shout out to Cheetah. And I'm out there, I battle Jay. But this battle also been rescheduled from the last time we put, before JC goes battle surf. So this is a rescheduled battle. So our material was already been written and ready already. So okay. I'm at you know what I'm saying? And y'all, this is a nigga that had 17 battles in a year. This nigga, this is a nigga that battled Ill Will, then went to drove from Cleveland till to uh to uh, back to Detroit, did a face off and battle SQZ three rounds on Twitch on King of the Dots main stage event, the hundred thousand dollar tournament. Yep. And still completed all five of my all five of those rounds. Oh, completely, yeah. completely, completely. Because all y'all I'm the first nigga to do, I'm the George Washington with a lot of shit when it comes to where I'm from and shit. The first nigga to be on the riot. Shout out to Geechee. Paid me out his own pocket to go battle uh, his guy Logic again. That guy, uh, not Logic, but uh, uh, Ratchet out there. And I won on the uh, the votes and shit. I won on the votes and shit. Like, first nigga on the riot. First nigga on RB. First nigga from Milwaukee, XXL Magazine. First nigga booked overseas in London. Best resume. Best resume in my city. Top four view person in my city. Number one when it comes to total battles in my city. Mm. Only nigga co-signed by Murder Mook, the Godfather. 
T-Rex, the Godfather. A verb, the general Godfather of the mid uh, of the Midwest in general. I was co-signed by all live. Herb talk about me constantly. Rex talk about me constantly. Y'all seen me in Times Square with Mook, Mario Van Peoples, and motherfucking Rizzo from Wu-Tang Clan. Y'all seen this. Y'all seen me with songs with Shot the Bank Kiss and songs with Cassidy. Yes, Y'all sir. seen me with songs with Facts. Double XL Freshman cover Mickey Fax. The same nigga that got songs with Drake, songs with Lupe Fiasco, songs with a bunch of niggas. Like, like, come on, man. Like, let's, 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 stop, let's stop playing. It's me. It's the show. <laughs> no. The motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anything else you got to say to the streets, my boy? Hey, Profilini, I see you, but I wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> New Jack City, nigga. Hey, New Jack City, nigga. But yeah, shout out to Profilini, man. Shout out to my nigga Bank Kid. Shout out to Black Ice Cartel, man. Appreciate the opportunity, man. It's going to be a nice-ass battle, bro. We're going to be a pit fight. Niggas going to see that shit, man. Hope niggas in the field and they get the recaps, the predictions before we get in that ring. We're going to show what we do because I'm going to do the same thing I did the last first time I was on Cartel. Out the gate. Shout out to your man over there, too. Who? Your man. Your man. Hey, you just had some nigga over there, bro. Shout out to him. Oh, my nigga Dre. Yeah, yeah. Dre. I forgot his name. Shout out to you, Dre. Yeah, come on to the barbecue, man. Hey, man, I'm pull up, man. Ah, oh, oh, this is OG Dre. Yeah. Oh, you talking about big folk? Yeah. Oh, big folk. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get a plate, man. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get some of that goddamn. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know I got you, man. That's love. That's love. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the OG Dre. You know what I'm saying, my mama. So PPV live in this motherfucker LL Coogee. We out this motherfucker pussy. Put your 3D glasses on then, pussy, cause you know we coming straight at you.